A lot of questions still remain unanswered, but it's been over five years now that the probe started into the Arushi Hemraj killings and the case has seen several twists and turns. In the immediate aftermath of the crime, Rajesh Talwar emerged as a prime suspect. But later, his assistant Krishna and two other servants too emerged as among the prime accused and were arrested by the CBI. Meanwhile, in the latest update two years ago, the CBI court had ordered the dentist couple to stand trial. The night of May 15th and 16th, 2008, Arushi Talwar and her family's domestic help Hemraj were murdered in an identical manner in the Noida flat. The horrific double murder shocked an entire nation and media scrutiny has laid bare every part of the investigation to catch the murderer. Five years later, the probe agencies are still to find any clinching and direct evidence against the individuals in the dock for the double murder, Arushi's parents. In the immediate aftermath of the crime, Hemraj emerged, the main suspect. 24 hours later, the first twist of the man in the case is Hemraj himself was found murdered. Then came the biggest revelation by the Uttar Pradesh police that Arushi's father had killed her in a fit of rage and in the zeal to announce the closure of the case ended up tarnishing the reputation of the 14-year-old Arushi Talwar. Months after Dr. Rajesh Talwar was accused of the crime came the next turn when his clinic assistant Krishna and two other domestic helps were accused. I'm very thankful to CBI because they have so much work and so much effort to find out the truth. After that, I've come to my family for so much time. It has been the biggest grief that I have ever suffered in my life. Please let me be with my family for a while. So that I can share some of my grief that I didn't share so much time. I can share it with them. The narco-analysis test on Krishna in which the agencies claimed a confession and couldn't be admitted in a court of law was obtained from the accused. Out came Arushi's father and the probe zeroed in on the three suspects. Three months later, Krishna, Rajkumar and Vijay Mondal also walked free as the CBI failed to file a charge sheet against the trial. The investigation was back to square one. With the probe going around in circles, in December 2010 came the admission from the CBI. The probe was completely botched up as the agency filed a closure report, pointing fingers at the Talwars but acknowledging lack of evidence to continue further. The CBI has condemned us for life. They put all kinds of false allegations upon us without any shred of evidence. This has been a completely uh, shocking thing for us. When I see this kind of thing, I mean, I don't know where justice for my child has gone in all this. I think it's too far-fetched now. It's been a whole a mess of uh, the CBI's investigation. With the case closed and the parents surrounded by a sea of suspicion, came another push for the case. When the court ruled, the parents can be tried for murder charges. As the trial proceeded, Nupur Talwar was arrested in April 2012 before she got relief from the Apex Court in September. Thankful to all my lawyers who have worked tirelessly for me and for us in the Supreme Court, in the Allahabad High Court, as well as the trial court. They have worked tirelessly for us, and I'm sure they'll continue to work tirelessly for us. And uh, one day the truth will prevail. Our angel Arushi is here to protect us and help us. As the trial went on, the CBI presented its evidence to bolster the case. The Lwar couple have maintained innocence and claim being framed in the case. Today, when the special CBI court pronounces its verdict, the biggest question will be, will an answer be found to who killed Arushi Talwar or will there be another twist? Bureau report, Times Now.